because I heard Jay Alec came on and No Name was basically threatening to delay her album and, you know, uh, arguing back and forth with her audience because of a Jay Electronica feature. And they pointed out hypocrisy on her part, uh, dealing with someone who was openly bigoted towards the Jewish community. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's not it's not abnormal for people to ask for consistency on that. And she started arguing with them. Uh, I don't know what exactly she was arguing, but I did see a post today in reference to including him on her album. And she basically. I didn't read the whole thing, I guess I'll read it with you right now. This is what she said. If I can bring this over here so you can see what I'm seeing. This is what bro said. Bro, sis, you get you get the gist. Here's the truth. No, I'm not an anti-Semitic. Uh, I guess you could just say not an anti-Semite, but whatever. Um, I don't hate groups of people. I am against white supremacy, which is a global system that privileges people who identify as white. I've been clear about this for years. I'm not going to apologize for a verse I didn't write. That's bad. That's really bad. I'm not going to apologize for including it on my album. Also bad. If you feel I'm wrong for including, that's fair. Don't listen. Unfollow and support all the other amazing rappers putting out dope music. Your disappointment truly means absolutely nothing to me, and I say that with love. Saying that I don't hate groups of people and also not trying to understand how someone could think that when you include a verse from someone who has historically been anti-Semitic in his music and then saying... I say that with love is completely hypocritical, in my opinion. It's OK to double down, like if that's how you feel. But this is what I tell people all the time who exhibit signs of bigotry, but they don't want to accept the responsibility of the title associated with the bigotry. Like. You can't. In one breath, say, I don't hate groups of people. And then in the same breath, say, I don't want to accept the name that I will be called when that happens. Um, but I'm also going to endorse, basically, because if you put it on your album, you basically endorsing it, bro. If Jack Harlow comes out and he makes uh, and he makes a, a, a song with someone like, like, let's say Morgan Wallen. Let's say Jack Harlow come out. And he make a song with Morgan Wallen. Or he make a song with anybody. Eminem get out of bed on the wrong side of the bed. He say, you know what? Fuck these, fuck these niggas on the song. And Jack Harlow come out and say, well, I didn't write it. Y'all know I don't hate blacks. Um, you you mad? Go talk to him. I don't care if you mad. You know what I'm saying? It's he only the example because I can't think of a white rapper that I really, you know what I'm saying, is disposable in this conversation. Like I wouldn't be hurt if Jack Harlow said that. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't care for his music anyway. It wouldn't be an issue for me to stop listening. Um, if Post Malone did something like that, which he kind of did already, you know, I feel a bit more of a way. But this, it, it really wouldn't mean nothing to me on that front. So I'm just saying in, in reference to this, <laughs> I'm just saying in reference to this, I actually haven't heard the Jay Electronica verse either. I haven't. I haven't heard the verse. I have yet to hear the verse. Post Malone hates rap music. We can listen to the verse. Cause I wouldn't know what he said that was truly that bad, but, um, yeah, you, you can't endorse it. You, you can't endorse it and then be like, oh yeah, um, I don't want to accept the responsibility. Back saw the royal family and have to get my clout back in a heart of nice bridge, pulling bunnies out top hats everywhere I step. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, why can't people who like rap about their supposed like spirituality be like, ha. Kai is so good at rapping like his life metaphorically through any type of through any type of like uh theological lens. He's so good at that. That I what I saw the Roth family to get my clout back up. So he's going with the with the Kanye shit too, like on a like they control like they they got the ability to make me 
big or small, basically. A nice it's not it's not off my own merit, basically, is what he's saying. Like I ain't got no control over that. I only dropped one album over the last like I don't know two centuries. Fuck boy eighty five, come run up and press me. It's all a hoax, quite simple. A joke like Zelensky, he man. I'm not gonna lie, bro. <laughs> this is so fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. One of the sons of Yakub is crazy to say. They killed my mom. Who are you talking about? A joke like Zelensky, bro. It's all a hoax. What are you talking about? How does this correlate? Is my question. Let me. I'm just trying to see, bro. Cause like the if if I'm trying like maybe I gotta listen to the song like three four more times before I uh before I come to a conclusion on what the song is about before I can be like okay is he adding to the point of this song or is he just veering off completely because there's genuinely people out there who don't research anything they're just like i'm gonna get all my information from a rap song who is jacob in arabic i thought that was when they were basically saying like they were artificially made like they were created by something like jewish people and white folks or something like that were just like made by uh someone or something as like a concoction of pure evil or something i don't get how you can look at that and then be like oh yeah that makes sense at, at least as you refer to jewish folks and then be like, okay, well, this ideology isn't the same as when, you know, certain white folks would justify their disdain for black people by saying that they were the sons or descendants of Cain. Like, how is that any different? The belief in it, not not in your ability to enforce that belief, but just the belief in itself. Like, how do you not feel nasty just thinking like that? I didn't say it was the same. Just, just hear, hear exactly what the fuck I just said. I said, hear exactly what the fuck I just said. I said, without your ability to enforce it, how do you not feel nasty thinking that way about another group of people based off of absolutely nothing? That's idiotic as fuck. That's dumb. So deep in with nothing to back it up. It reminds me of when Nick Cannon went on that podcast. I don't remember what show he was on to talk about like black people are the true this, they're the true that. And white folks don't have the capability to feel this, but he also unintentionally put more responsibility on black folks by saying that we have soul and we feel and like you're just so stupid. Like, is there nobody that knows how to just be like, you know what, let me fact check this or let me just filter this through someone that knows how to tell me I sound like a fucking idiot. I could feel where she coming from, um, especially when you get like mass consumed at such a large rate by a group of people that predominantly like they don't look like you at all and so i feel like this natural disdain uh for that exact same group so maybe this is purposeful maybe i'm just pushing that demographic away maybe i don't genuinely feel like this but i don't want y'all to listen to my music no more and i would prefer to attract an audience that only you know what i'm saying can hear what it is that i have to say because nine times out of ten sean has racism i get what you're saying but i'm just saying if i didn't want a particular group listening to me anymore uh, for reasons that she might be entitled to, you know, uh, I, I don't like that y'all repeat my, my, the N word to me on stage. I don't like the idea of white folks consuming black trauma as a thing. Like a lot of them are probably going to hear this song and be like, nah, I'm not going to listen to the album. Maybe that's her goal. I don't know. I'm not saying that it is right, but I wouldn't think of any other reason for you to be like, nah, I'm not an anti-Semite just to include an anti-Semitic verse from a dude who's historically been known to be anti-Semitic and then threaten not to release your album because people didn't like the fact that he was on it and then come out and say, I don't care if you're disappointed in it. I just don't really think there's any other way to take that outside of you wanting that group of people to be ostracized. But if there's a different goal and you just like, you think that this contributes so much to the overall idea, I, I, I guess... I just don't get what it is that you're supposed to. How the fuck can you stop a group of people from listening to your song? I didn't say that you could. I'm just saying this could be an attempt to uh, push them away. I didn't say you can't stop anybody from listening to your music, but you can make them feel more uncomfortable listening to the shit that you have to say. If you want to garner only attention from a group of people that you want to listen to your music, you know, instead. I would rather have white fans than anti-Semitic black fans, to be honest. I would rather have neither, to be honest, if I'm being 100% with you. Because sometimes, like, frustrating shit and frustrating elements happen a lot. Would you push us white fans away, Sean? Sometimes I look at y'all and I'll be like, these niggas really don't get it. Sometimes. 
depending like when when we say cert when there's certain shit that's talked about or said sometimes i really do i'll I'll look at it and be like you know what like they don't get it they not gonna feel where i'm coming from they don't understand and i get it i get that element of it i would never say some shit like or endorse something that was purposely trying to push people away in an attempt to get people to just get away from me I, i wouldn't do that but i understand in that like okay maybe i don't want any of these niggas hearing me because they just won't get it. You just compare white fans to black. No, I didn't. You're a fucking idiot. No, I didn't. I said I would rather have neither. I didn't say which was better than the other. I said I would rather have neither. Are you dumb? I I, I just explained to you. Some niggas are not going to hear where I'm coming from. And you just did the exact thing. And then you and then imagine imagine going back and forth with niggas about what you say. Something that simple on Twitter or some bullshit like that. Imagine doing that and then being like, oh, well, we need you to make music that's like that. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing I can never be that. I can never be that. I can never do that. I can never do that. That's why I get the frustration. I do. I get the frustration, bro. I understand it. I'm not saying I understand this, but I understand the frustration, bro. Shut the fuck up talking to me. You're not even listening. I'm just, I'm, you're not going to not, get, you're not going to try to make me feel like somebody being uncomfortable with a group of people that don't know shit about nothing that you're talking about is going to make the average person like feel normal. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying she's right. I'm just saying I wouldn't feel comfortable talking to y'all if I was a rapper. Knowing that my whole audience is mostly white. That's all I'm saying.